country? It's Tuesday. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, and yes, ma'am, too. I'm sorry. Hold on, let me. Lord, I thought truck wasn't gonna start. I thought the battery's dead. So, I should have done my intro a long time ago, but I was running behind and I need to hurry up and get somewhere. So I am late. I am late with the vlog. But good news. Um, the other day when I did a vlog. I told you guys that I had the best conversation ever uh, with an older black gentleman. And actually, it was an older white guy next. Well, that gentleman's here again. I'm telling you right now, hey, I got a black daddy out here somewhere. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, that guy right there, man, you, you, you could not, there just ain't no better people than that. That guy right there, I'm telling you, that... I'm telling you, the conversations, guys, he is like an older version of me, and just, just awesome, man, just, and, uh, and I go out of my way to do extra stuff in his house for him, um, actually, I've got a, a blind here, um, that come off his windows that someone tried to jerry-rig, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him fixed for him, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna charge no extra time, so, you know, when you see people are genuine and nice and and that guy's probably he probably 65 years old and he's about to get married again i said get it but uh man i just that's a good way to start off the day guys because i i started off the day in somewhat of a, a a worried a worried mood i guess you could say and just thinking about life in general you know bills and just just everything everything that did y'all got it It ain't just me it's all of us we all got that that old worry that we get you know but uh that really helped that really helped for to hear his side of life and 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 the way he looks at life situations and stuff and and i'm glad this job is paused I, i'm going to replace his entire window and i'll be glad to come back because he just it's good people but uh anyway the day is start what is it it's it, it 51 degrees but it God, it feels hotter than that. I need to take my jacket off. Well, where is my next job? Hmm. I better GPS it, huh? I don't even know. Well, oh well. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Intro done. I'll probably see y'all actually in just a minute. I just got to make a couple calls, and then I'll, uh, I'll probably be back on here in a minute. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Alrighty. Hey. We gotta go build a gate. Well, not we. Me. We gotta go build a gate. Um. Huh, I wish it wasn't like 18 miles away, though. That'd be kind of... A little better. But, uh... Hey, it is what it is. We're just gonna use a little gas. But, uh... I really didn't think I was gonna be building this gate. I went over here before, and... What did I do? I don't know. I just screwed in a couple of the slats that were loose. But it uh, looks like they have changed their mind. And they want to build a gate from scratch instead of keeping the crappy ones. So, Country Car's going to build them a nice and... Well, I don't know how nice it's going to be. But I'm going to build one. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out how nice it's going to be. I'm not going to do anything fancy on a rental. If it was a homeowner's. Then I'd take a little extra time and, you know, smooth out the edges, if you know what I mean. But we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna do that on a rental. Because, uh, they only gonna want to pay so much, so, nope. Anyway, that Lowe's, uh, started to make me a little irritable. They, uh, they seem to take their sweet time every now and then, and they were too focused on making a... They had all the Dewalt tools there by the Pro Services sitting out, all fancy looking display. And they had a green carpet in front of it, trying to make it look like a baseball field. I thought, come on guys, you're trying to promote your Dewalt tools sitting out here instead of checking everyone out. Come on now. They were like, oh, sorry, I was trying to make my pitcher's mound. I'm like, yeah, you acting like a child. Get over here and check me out, boy. <laughs> get with it. Oh, I mean, I'm trying to get out in the truck and get it. And he's trying to play. 
and I got money to make. Hey, that rhyme? I, I could have been a rapper. Um, all right, so, well, let's head to Charleston, and I will see y'all when we get there. All right, well, guys, we are here at the gate here in Charleston, and we are going to make this, I don't know, this horribly rotten, awful, non-working gate. Um, <clears throat> hopefully into something fully operational. So, I don't know. We're going to find out. And uh, I know first we're going to definitely get all the screws out of the old stuff. And hopefully uh, the old frame is still operational because it's metal. But I don't know. But we, we're going to find out, that's for sure. Um, I hate to waste a good metal frame if it's still usable but I don't know and I believe the ground is a little tall here and we might have to take our hammer or something and get a little good I don't know some ground clearance or something um, I guess they've never even used this gate before so we're gonna make sure that they able to use both gates that's my that's my goal so I will see y'all in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this old rotten wood off of this, cause that ain't nothing to see. And uh, oh yeah, it's just, it's so rotten that, look, the top screws, they're not even, they're not even undone, look. And it's just, you know, yeah. Yeah, we definitely need to. So if the metal won't work, the metal frame they got, then I'm gonna rebuild it from scratch. Because, uh, that's what I do. I fix stuff. And I'm going to fix it. So, I'm going to get all this old rotten stuff off. And, uh, yeah. See you in a minute. Hey, look here. Huh? I need some tan on that thing. Good Lord. Hey, it's white. And, uh, anyway, so, like, I'm working in the shade. And the sun is right next to me. Look, see the sun? Really? I'm like, I think I need a tan on my head. And I'm working in the shade, two feet from the sun. So I need a jacket in the shade and I walk two feet away. I need a t-shirt, so hey, whatever. So uh, we've, got the, uh, we've got the new wood pressure treated so it won't rot uh, on the gate here. And, uh, oh, hold on guys. All right, and uh, so we put a new a new frame, and then I put an extra one on the front of it there. So, uh, well, in other words, the slats on the fence have a little gap there, and I need to add an extra board to get it closer to the outside of the fence, so you can't tell so much that it's you know where the gate is, even though it's going to be new boards. You're definitely going to see it, um, and. It was out of square because this wire here was broken, actually broken here, and uh, it was sagging, so the gate was sagging. So actually, what I did is uh, the wires, you know, screwed. So I had I took a self-tapping metal screw and a washer and pulled the wire and let the screw do the work. So the wire's tight now. So there's all kinds of special little things you can do. Um. And that's what I figure out is, hey, what can I do? And then I figure it out. But, uh, all right, well, I was taking a little five-minute break, and uh, it's about time to get these slats on the front of it. Also, I put these self-tapping screws here because they didn't even screw the frame together. And the frame was all wiggly and stuff. I thought, whoever installed this thing just didn't give a crap. But, uh, hey... I do give a crap, so I'll treat it like it's my own, and uh, I'm gonna WD-40, PB Blaster all the hinges and everything for a leave, and yeah, so it's going good. I do have to, I'm not looking forward to, y'all see all that crap? Well, hey, camera does no justice. There is a lot that I had to cut out, and I'm gonna actually have to haul that stuff off, which sucks, because I don't 
have a clue where to even take it. So that's going to be, that's going to be nice. Anyway, I actually have no clue where I'm going to do with it. But, all right, it's time to get these slats on. I'm going to, uh, I don't know, I'm going to start it and see you in a little bit. Hi. Well, finally. So, after I put that the two by fours on there, I showed you guys these two. All I did was cut these to length that they needed to be and screw them into here. And then just attach a latch that uh, this one's actually a free mover. So, no matter if it sags or not. It's gonna latch so I am finally done with it and uh, I'm glad too. super glad right before I leave I'm gonna put a couple screws in it here and uh, I don't even know if it needs them or not but anyway so that is finally done it well it looks like a gate but uh phew. That was the easy part, guys. I'm telling you right now, the amount of limbs that I took off of that tree was just ridiculous to get in the truck. I'm telling you right now. I had, they were so high and so compact that they were above the ladder rack. And I mean, way above the, I was in there jumping on them and, and everything else. And I finally had to put the, uh, Finally had to put a couple ladders on them and a bunch of board and ratchet strap them to get them to mash down. Man, that was, that was a pain in the butt. I was gonna triple screw that gate, but I think it's all right. I don't believe there's, ain't no reason for it. Oh. Hi. I'm glad that's done. I'll tell you right now. Now, I've got half of a tree in the back of the truck that I have nowhere to put because we live in a freaking neighborhood with no yard and we can't even burn stuff. Hopefully, that'll change soon. Um, wow. Hey. That, I think I should have done the sticks first and I wouldn't have been aggravated as I was leaving, but that was, uh, that was a bit much, especially when I see, you know, everybody else just puts them in the ditch and uh the, you know the city comes and scoops them up with their tractor but for some reason we're not allowed to leave anything in the ditches even though they come pick them up i'm like where am i supposed to take them let me go put them in my ditch i mean hello i don't even have a ditch i got a pavement out front with no yard so i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with all this i may take it to my well I guess I could take it to my sister's house um, and maybe take it to her burn pile or something. That's about the only option I've got at this point. So I believe I may, Damn, I just hate to, un man, I hate to unload all that. They gave me an extra hour to do all that and it's, I'm gonna end up having like two hours extra into these stupid branches. And these gnats, these old biting gnats are out. Oh well, well guys, it is it is time to head home. I am super exhausted. Look out, lady. We'll run you over. Oh, and it's I don't know, it's like 17 miles home or maybe a little more if I take the back way to go to my sister's, which I really need to, so hopefully I didn't leave anything. But uh Oh yeah, really? Alright, so now I'm gonna back in the driveway because I left the fishing poles. I got them out of the back of the truck so I wouldn't smush them. Now I gotta back back in here and get them. Lord, can't leave the fishing poles, guys. Yep, show sure did. Look here. Uh huh. Uh huh. I about left the important stuff. Can't be doing that. I'm glad I looked. That would have sucked. Ugh. Yep definitely do not need to leave that's the most important things right there fishing do not need to leave the fishing stuff oh all right oh fishing string in my lap 
Hey, I'm ready to go home. Actually, I'm hungry. I'm ready for some food. I don't know what, but I'm hungry. Oh, sorry, fishing poles. I can't believe I almost left you guys. I'm a bad dad. All right. Anyway, I just figured I'd show you all the finished product, and uh, ain't no way I was going to video me picking up a whole bunch of limbs and jumping up in the back of the truck. So, I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see y'all when I get back to Somerville. Hey, hey, hey. Howdy. Hey, I'm finally home. I'm home. Oh, get it. So, I am now cooking supper. I was cooking supper last night, too. Um, it is time for some double cheeseburger macaroni hamburger help. And we's gonna do some green beans and... Oh, corn on the cob. And I don't know what else is going with it yet, but I'll figure it out. I may actually do some more of those red lobster cheddar biscuits because, oh... They are stupid good. Um, yeah, so, hey, it's been a pretty good day. Um, work was all right, other than, other than the stupid, ugh, other than the stupid tree limbs that I had to do. And I actually uh, ended up taking them to my sister's house and uh, piling them up there where we have the bonfires. So that took a little extra time, but hey, at least it's there now, and we can uh, got some good build-up for the next bonfire. Hamburger helper. And uh, I'm actually going to... I know you're supposed to mix them in, but it just seems like it takes ten times longer, so I'm going to cook the, uh, the noodles first. I'm going to boil them a little bit before I put them into the actual hamburger and put it all together. Because uh, it makes the noodles softer. So... That's what I'm going to do. What, Bandit? May I help you? What is it, buddy? Huh? You want a hamburger helper, too? Huh? Hey. You want to say hey? You want to say, oh, you got up close to say hey. All righty. Good boy. Oh, get down. Hey. Sit. Shake. Sit. Good boy. You still know. Good boy. Get it. Hey, he's shaking now. I didn't think that was ever going to happen, to be honest with you. Oh, I was going to drink a soda, but I decided to go with a good old OJ. I'm sure it's healthier, even though it's got sugar in it. What? You going to break out every Barbie doll you got? <laughs> huh? Wrapping paper. You want to say hi to YouTube? Hi, Rootube. Hi. I see Play-Doh crumbs. Girl, you gonna clean that Play-Doh up. It's all over the table, too. Look here. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's why your Play-Doh comes up missing, because you destroy it piece by piece. And we sweep it up and throw it away. So, anyway. Hey. I'm gonna cook some supper. And I'll see yo na- I You know what? Outro's next. Not, how do you not like corn if you haven't tried it? Do you know how many dishes were in the sink when I got home? Both yeah, sides I all, full, all the way to the top. Overfilling. I know, it was from the pork chops last night. <laughs> hey. Outro. Time. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me. She's going to be in this outro. I will not retake this. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Was supper good? Mm -hmm. Was supper good? Yeah. Sweet. What? What are you doing, crazy? Oh my gosh, I guess. Now y'all are going to be doped up on ice creams. Hey, it is outro time. Outro time. Kira, tell him, uh, do you like corn? No. Have you ever had corn? She doesn't like corn, but she's never had corn. Mm-hmm. 
That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No. What? No. <laughs> you crazy. Ford. Anyway, hey, uh, Bandit's trying to tell us something here, squatting at the door. Hey, get off me, woman. Hey, uh, so we had. Hey, where'd you? Where'd our company go? Huh? I was about to put it on video. Where'd our company go that was eating with us? I need you to. Um, I need you to fix. One. I will. I Maybe. So we had. Hey. They were set up. What'd you do? Well, we had company for dinner. Um, I was sitting down eating and look over and there's three. Let me see. Let me see one of these. There was three naked Barbie dolls sitting on a stool in the chair here eating supper with us. I'm like, they're all naked. Shay was like, yeah, we, we don't eat supper naked. Ever. All right, who's me? There's only two times anyway. you should be naked. Oh, I'm so full. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's only two times you should be naked, and that's in the shower and on a double dare running through a cornfield. What? 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 Nothing. <laughs> She's like, wait, what? <laughs> no. Bathing. Don't. Getting dressed. Bathing and getting dressed. What about, is there not another time to be naked? Nope. No? I'm sure there is. Well, unless you want to be, I'm sure there's naked beaches. They're naked just because they want to be naked. Oh, hey, it's time to get off here. It's been a long day. Not too bad. Huh? Who? Any of you. No, I've not fed Rex. So you got some crickets? I haven't, I ain't even looked. So, oh, I'm fat and sassy. We had a hamburger helper and corn on the cob, and which I probably still have in my teeth. I don't know. Anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's hump day, isn't it? What? That's tomorrow's hump day? It is, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow anyway. So, country Carter. Signing out.